Welcome back to the Red Carpet Re-Up. Today, we're diving into the latest drama between Bobby Shmurda and Rick Ross. Bobby claims he was removed from an upcoming show with Ross after a misunderstanding involving a video. Let's break it down. First up, let's talk about the removal incident. On July 17th, Bobby Shmurda took to Instagram to share that he had been dropped as a performer from Rick Ross's upcoming show. Rick Ross, bro, I just got the call from motherfucking... <laughs> I just got the call. I got spoke because I really respect, like I really fuck with you. I don't fuck with you on like no gangster shit. Like y'all artists gotta understand this. I don't fuck with y'all niggas on no gangster shit. I fuck with y'all niggas on some business shit and, and as a man, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, why you ain't call me big homie? Why I gotta get the call from niggas talking about, yo, Rick Ross kicked you off the show. I, I, we, we, we work with, I got the call from Barbados. They like, yo, um, you know, we do a lot of business with Rick Ross and we don't think Bobby's good for the show and this and that. Like, come on, bro, bro. I, I don't want no beef with none of y'all niggas. I'm independent, first of all. I'm beefing with higher powers in the industry already. I already know who I, I talk to the niggas I already got. That I don't even, I'm beefing with them niggas, bro. I don't even want to beef with them. They just don't like me. They just hate to see me smile type shit. I don't even want to beef with them niggas. You know what I'm saying? But my whole thing is, though, why, like, they like, yo, MMG called and say, yo, we don't want Bobby Schmurder on the show. Bro, I'm 30 years old, bro. I might be 30 in a couple weeks, bro. I'm not like none of these young niggas, bro. I've been selling drugs since I was 10 years old, bro. I didn't grow up like you or none of your other friends or none of that other shit, bro. I'm a different type of nigga, you feel me? I'm very honest, I'm, I'm, I'm Leo, bro. I ain't with all this other shit. Why you gotta call, you could've called me, big homie. When I made that video, I was defending you telling motherfucking fans. The reason, Bobby made a video laughing about Rick Ross's scuffle with Drake's crew in Canada last month. <laughs> Yo, cuz I would have went out like C Murder. Oh, my big man was a son. I would have went out like C Murder, bro. I swear to God. I swear to everything I love, bro. I would have went out like C Murder, bro. <laughs> Yo, I just see the videos. <laughs> Yo, story set. Yo, a nigga feed me out when I was like 12 years old. Yo, a nigga choked me out when I was 12 years old. I try to kill a whole building. <laughs> Yo, I just see what happened, son. Yo, y'all niggas. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> oh, shit. Empty the clip and roll the window up. <laughs> he nigga that sweet. He nigga shit him butt. I would have ran back. He said she finna come. In the video, Bobby denied making fun of Ross and insisted he was actually defending him. However, he was upset that Ross didn't personally call him about it. He later deleted the clip, but the drama had already unfolded. Next, let's discuss Bobby Schmurda's career struggles. This year has been tough for him. Recently, Bobby expressed frustration on Instagram, claiming his career would be further ahead if he painted his nails like some of his peers. He believes the music industry favors artists with a more androgynous image and feels sidelined because he doesn't conform. He urged his fans to stop asking him to release music, stating that American DSPs and music blogs don't support real bodmen on playlists. Lastly, Let's touch on Bobby's accusations against a former business partner. Earlier this year, Bobby accused a former partner of launching a propaganda campaign against him in an Instagram reel set to Meek Mill's Rap Therapy Freestyle. Bobby explained how negative campaigns can be used to assassinate someone's character for financial gain. He suggested that these campaigns aim to tarnish reputations and stifle competition. Bobby Shmurda's recent experiences highlight the challenges artists face in the music industry, from misunderstandings with peers to systemic biases and character attacks. It's clear that Bobby is navigating a tough landscape while trying to stay true to himself. Thanks for tuning in to the Red Carpet re -up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exclusive content. Let us know in the comments what you think about Bobby Shmurda's situation. See you next time.